Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to graph exponential functions. Of course, there is a PDF file version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one. So let's sketch y is equal to 4 to the power of x, y is equal to 4 to the power of x plus 1, and y is equal to 4 to the power of x minus 2. So let's start with y is equal to 4 to the power of x first. y is equal to 4 to the power of x. And let me label the x-axis and the y-axis. Now, rather than draw a table and then uh, we're plotting point on the number plan, let me just go straight into it, okay? Just a rough sketch, okay? So let's say if x equal to 0, so that means y is equal to 4 power of 0. So any number that power of 0, is one so zero one is here just a rough sketch okay so let me just label this is one and then when x is one so let's change that x equal one that mean y is equal to four to the power of x x is one that mean power one so four power one is four so that is four so one four just a rough sketch okay so one four here somewhere so one four And when x is negative 1, so when x is equal to negative 1, so this means that y is equal to 4 to the power of negative 1. So because it's power of negative, so we can bring it down, become positive index, okay? So that becomes 1 over 4 to the power of 1. But 4 power 1 is 4, so that becomes 1 over 4, it's a quarter. So roughly, okay, 1 and a quarter, it's just a rough sketch. So we have three points that we do. So we know that the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to zero. Okay, this is horizontal asymptote. So let me just join this up. So this is a graph. And that's it. And it's never touched the, the x-axis, okay? Because this x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. So that is y is equal to 4 power of x. Now let's graph y is equal to 4 power of x plus 1. So let me clear this first. So what it does is 4 to the power of x, we add 1, that means the whole graph sweep up 1 unit, okay? Let's start from the horizontal asymptote because it move up 1. So the horizontal asymptote move up by 1 unit. So this is it, like that, okay? From 0, move up to 1 unit. And this point here, 0, 1, because y move up 1 unit, so that means become 2. So this is 2 here. And then 1, 4, it becomes 4 move up 1, become 5. So 1, 5, so roughly here, okay? This is negative 1 and a quarter, so it move up 1 unit, so negative 1 and 1 and a quarter. So 1 and a quarter is here. So there you go. So now I can just quickly join them up. It's, it's like this. So there you go. So this is y is equal to 4 to the power of x. We add 1. Now let's sketch y is equal to 4 to the power of x minus 2. So what it does is y is equal to 4 to the power of x. The whole graph shift down 2 units. Okay, please remember. So like this, the horizontal is because its original graph is start from y equals zero. Okay, that's a horizontal asymptote. Now move down two units, that becomes one, two. So roughly is here. So this is negative two. And now the one here, it moved down two units, becomes negative one. So let me just write negative 1 here. And 1, 4, it becomes, because move down 2 units, so become 1, 2, okay? So 1, 2. 1, 2 here. 1, 2. And don't forget this is, this point here is 1, 5, okay? And this point here is negative 1 and 1 and a quarter, if you like. So that's it. So now let's go back to y equal 4x minus 2. 
this point here is negative one and a quarter because move down two units. So negative one and three quarter. So it's here roughly. So now I just join these points together. So this is negative one, okay? Don't forget. And I can label this point negative one and negative one and three quarter. So there you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So let's just starting from y is equal to 2 to the power of x. And let me just label, this is x-axis and this is y-axis. And when x is 0, so 2 power of 0 is 1. So let's just just one here, okay? So there you go. And when x equals one, two to the power one is two. So one, two, roughly, okay? So we just draw one, two here. So label one, two. And then when x is negative one, so that means y equal two to the power of negative one. So you can use index law, can bring it down, become one over two to the power one. 2 to the power 1 is 2, so that means 1 and a half. Otherwise, you can just put that on a calculator, 2 to negative 1, you should get 0 0.5 or a half, okay? So negative 1 and a half is here. And when x equal to negative 2, so y equal 2 to the power of x, x become negative 2. So put that on a calculator, otherwise you can use your index law, bring it down, become positive index. So become a quarter. So negative 2, and a quarter here. Just a rough sketch, negative one and a half here. And then when x is two, so two to the power of two is four. So two, four here somewhere. So two, four. So let me just quickly join them up. So there you go. So y is equal to 2 to the power of x. And horizontal asymptote is this one here. y is equal to 0. So now let's sketch y is equal to 2x minus 1. So what it does is the whole graph shift down one unit. That's all it is, okay? If it's plus 1, you move up one unit. If it's plus 10, you move 10 up, okay? Remember, minus 5, you move down 5 units. That's all it is, okay? So now, because it moved down 1 unit, so the asymptote, it moved down 1 unit as well. So negative 1, and the asymptote is here, horizontal asymptote. Now, it's the whole thing moved down 1 unit, because 2 to the power of x minus 1, so the whole thing moved down 1 unit. So 0, 1 becomes... 0, 0, because move down a unit, okay, y value, just remember, 1, 2, the y value moved down one unit, so this is 1, 1, and then 2, 4, move down one unit, that becomes 2, 3, and then um, negative 1 and a half, move down one unit, so negative 1 and negative a half, so this point here, and this point here is roughly, okay, here, so we just join them up. And just look at the dot and heading to the dot, okay? Extend the line a bit. And this is the asymptote, like that. So this graph here is y is equal to 2 to the power of x minus 1. So that's all it is, okay? And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you got it correct. Bye!